On a recent rainy morning, the city of Stafford played host for a project that seeks to make life better for pets and the people who love them. Kay Reynolds, Deputy Director for Fort Bend County Health and Human Services, describes the event. Well, today in Stafford, we have the spay-neuter assistance program, the SNAP program, mobile unit out by City Hall in Stafford. Uh, the county, um, over this last year, has funded 12 visits of this SNAP van to come out, and we're moving them into different parts of the county. Uh, in previous years, we've only had uh, money from the county for just one visit, but we've also had some donations from people in the community. This is a really important program for us. There are so many unwanted uh, stray animals in this county where uh, we are just increasing the population and increasing the work for all of the different animal service agencies in the county. There are several municipal and of course the county animal services and what we have to do unfortunately with those extra animals is pick them up and put them in a pound. Um, Although we try to adopt a lot of these animals out, many of them do not get adopted and the end result is that they have to be euthanized. We're hoping with this spay-neuter assistance program to get the word out that domestic animals should be spayed and neutered. The point of this program is to help those people who can't afford to do this, who can't afford the regular rates of a veterinarian, to be able to do this at no cost. If they have uh, government assistance, if they have any kind of free lunch or any of those programs, they qualify for a free spaying and neutering uh, with their animal on this mobile unit. Um, also, they can get a free rabies shot along with the surgery, and if they want to, some low-cost other treatments for their animal as well, such as uh, treatment for uh, flea preventatives and so on, so they don't end up with heartworm. Um, also, this last couple of months, we've added to the eligibility criteria. Anyone who is over 65 can bring their animal to the SNAP van and have them spayed or neutered for free. Over the next several months, the SNAP van will move to different parts of the county. In April, we'll be in Fulshire, and in May, down in Fresno area. Uh, if you want to see the exact addresses, you can go to the Health and Human Services website and find them out, or call Health and Human Services at 281-238. 3589 and we can let you know where we will be in the next few months. Um, again, the message that we want to get out to the public is that spaying and neutering of a pet should be a priority. Not only does it stop unwanted litters and um, all the ends of the animals having to be picked up and put in the pound and so on, but also it really improves the health. For females, it really reduces the number of cases of uh, ovarian cancer, uterine cancer, mammary cancer. Um, and also with both males and females can really improve some of the behaviors. If your female's not in heat, she's not going to go out running around as much. The same with the male. There'll be less marking of territory, less running out and trying to catch all those females in heat. So in the long run, it can be, make your pet a lot, more, um, use, uh, a lot more friendly to you, a lot more uh, easy to handle and so on. So spay neuter is a very important part of the programs of all of the health departments and all of the animal service agencies here in Fort Bend County. Uh, we encourage everybody to take advantage of this. If you don't qualify for the free services, the SNAP program actually has a clinic in Houston where you can take your animal and receive low-cost spay and neuter. It won't well, be free there, but it is a low-cost program. For more information about SNAP Mobile Clinics and the Pet Wellness Center, visit www.snapus.org. For animal magnetism, I'm Stacy Hawkins.